Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to another tennis nerd review. This time I talk about the Wilson Blade Pro. Uh, the new Wilson Blade Pro from Wilson's uh, Pro Labs line, which is uh, kind of the glossier, heavier spec versions, which are meant for the kind of pro circuit. Uh, one of the big questions about the Blade Pro has been, is this the H22 Pro stock uh, that a lot of pros use? Um, and I can say it's the same mold, so it's an H22 mold with the same uh, design of the frame. Uh, what is different is the layup of the frame, so this one for sure feels a little bit stiffer to me. So I would say a, a normal Wilson H22 would be around 60 RA uh, unstrung stiffness, and this one feels more like 63, 64 maybe, so it's a little bit stiffer and uh, it's something that's definitely noticeable. You still get a lot of control with this frame. Uh, it's very control oriented. It's quite heavy to swing, so if you're not really up for a really hefty frame, uh, this should not be something you're looking at. Uh, it's better than to go for the normal blade version seven, which is a little bit more easy to swing. Still, that has a pretty high swing whip, but not as high as this one. Uh, as soon as I um, measure this one, I got it up 307.5 swing weight without strings, added strings, um, a hybrid of Luxon Ola Power and Wilson NXT in the crosses and uh, the swing weight is 341.5 and that's not rare with these, it's not like a huge quality control issue it's just how these rackets spec up, so really heavy, most rec players will not be happy to swing this and that's probably why it's called a pro. Uh, one question I have for Wilson is uh, why did you not make it more of a platform racket like the H22? You, you can buy um, a 300 gram blade pro uh, and then customize it up to your liking. This one comes in really head heavy specs. Uh, I think the, the average kind of um, balance is, is two points head light, which is, which is way, way uh, with a lot of hit, you know, weight in the head makes it quite difficult to get around. So you need kind of to customize and add some weight in the handle, whether it's uh, kind of lead tape on underneath the grip or it's, um, you know, silicone or blue tack inside uh, the handle. You, you definitely need to do that if you want a more kind of easy swinging experience. Uh, so it was a bit, uh, a bit tricky to get around, uh, better when I added weight. Uh, plenty of control, I went for the 1820 version, you can choose your string patterns, you can go 1619 or 1820 with both the Blade Pro and the Ultra Pro, which is uh, supposed to be the H19, the Ultra Pro, hope to get to review that at a later date. And then there's, there's also the 6195, which would be the Hyper Pro staff, and that one comes in only 1820. Yeah, but this is um, this is a, a good racket, uh, but it's for a very small target group, and I would almost warn some players I've heard uh, stories where people buy it and expect to have like a customizable frame or something that plays similar to the blade uh, but it's just a bit different uh, but it's a lot more difficult to use uh, with the hefty swing weight and um, mine was um, 309 grams so a little bit more weight than the 305 listed as well uh, although that weight was mainly in the handle but if you're unlucky with the quality control and you get a lot of extra weight in the head it's gonna be almost impossible unless you like 350 swing weights to get it into a spec that's playable. Um, so that's the, the downside of this. Put controlled frame, um, that's, you know, has a nice feel on touch shots, feel quite connected to the racket. Uh, I would have liked it a little bit lower stiffness uh, compared to the H22s I've played over the years. Um, like the nice glossy design, looks really nice, especially in the sun and uh, the way they, they do it on TV. So, I mean, obviously they, they have the pro stocks are usually glossy, so it looks a bit better on TV, stands out a bit more. And uh, so this does look nice, but um, it's not really the same layup of the H22 as I would have hoped. It's a little bit different. And uh, perhaps they added a bit of stiffness to make it uh, easier to generate more power. Uh, I would not necessarily say it's the case. I, I think it's still very controlled, so. Uh, or there's some other reason why the stiffness feels uh, like a little bit uh, too much in my, my opinion. It's not harsh on the arm, it's not like an uncomfortable frame, just you don't get that uh, really nice plush feeling when you hit the ball that you get with the h 22 I play. So that's kind of my thoughts around the Blade Pro. Um, don't get it unless you're a really advanced player who can you know hit the ball well, move well, nice technique, because um, it's gonna get quite hefty in the end. And um, and then you should rather look into the other blades or again an H22 uh, from the black market, quote unquote. 
and uh, and try to customize that but this one is not leaving you a lot of room for customization and uh, that that's a little bit of a shame I think it would be nice if Wilson sold a platform racket uh, in the prolapse line that you could actually customize similar to what the ultra pro the retail ultra pro is where you actually have a 305 gram racket that is far far too light to actually be used effectively uh, without weight but then you can add weight and you get it up to a really nice spec so I, I really actually enjoy that one more than this one uh, for that reason uh, so that's the review of the Blade Pro. I hope to get to the Ultra Pro in the Prolapse line and perhaps the 6195, which is kind of a racket I still gravitate towards and still use from time to time in the Encode edition. Would be nice to try that very nice looking black painter with the 6195 Prolapse. Uh, but the verdict of the, of the Wilson Blade uh, Prolapse is that it's quite difficult to use, a little bit stiffer than I, I had hoped. Still good control and feel from it. Uh, decent spin for an 1820 uh, but the, um, the difficulty level is a little bit above mine so I would only recommend it really to 5.5, uh, 5 5.0 .5, and upwards uh, NTRP players that can uh, that want something ultra controlled uh, with good heft that they can uh, can play with. That's all, have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.